Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring. Last weekend, Games Workshop opened the pre-orders for Warhammer Quest Curse City. So in the spirit of out with the old and in with the new, I thought that while many of us, although I guess not as many of us as it really should be, are waiting for our pre-orders to arrive, it would be a good idea to revisit stock levels for our old favourite Blackstone Fortress. I do these videos every now and again where I check in on availability for the last few bits, and that's really for anyone new to Warhammer Quest who might be thinking of jumping into Blackstone Fortress now. But this video also gives me a good opportunity to talk very briefly about the future availability of Cursed City. As I'm sure we're all aware by now, stock for the game was limited and sold out within minutes. This has led to many people panicking, thinking this was a limited one-time box that they've missed out on. Meanwhile, scalpers are rubbing their hands with glee. I've actually been waiting all day today for Games Workshop to make an official announcement about this situation, and I'm surprised and disappointed to see they've completely failed to address it to this point. Furthermore, when people have asked about a reprint on the Age of Sigmar Facebook group, the team have been responding with vague hand-waving and responses along the lines of, we'll make an announcement when we know more. But this, it should be noted, is a very different kind of response to what they gave prior to the pre-orders going live. Here we have some examples that I grabbed from Facebook from a post made on the Age of Sigmar group on the 28th of March this year. As you can see, somebody commented, and the race to get it is on. And Warhammer Age of Sigmar responded, this will be part of the range going forwards, so no need to rush. Somebody else commented, will the game be available on the long term like Blackstone Fortress was? To which Warhammer Age of Sigmar responded, it sure will be. Finally, somebody commented, I really hope there will be enough this time and not another sold out in two minutes while servers crashed debacle. Which of course, it was. But Warhammer Age of Sigmar responded, pre-orders will be limited to one per order and should stock run out next weekend, more will be produced as this set will be part of the range for a while. That is a pretty clear and obvious statement of intent. This is a new range product, it will be back in stock. So here's what I think. The Facebook team generally have their hands tied with regards to what they can say, and if they don't have an official announcement to make or the powers that be have decided they aren't allowed to hint at an announcement, they have to roll out that line, we'll make an announcement when we know more. You see it all the time on the Facebook group, and it basically shuts down the discussion and prevents a load of follow-up questions they don't want to answer. I'm actually surprised that somebody on the team was so forthcoming about information regarding Cursed City back on the 28th. Maybe they were new. Overall, I don't think this is anything to worry about. My advice is to wait and see. Don't turn to scalpers. Anyway, enough about Cursed City. Moving on, let's talk Blackstone Fortress. As always, when I do these videos, I'm looking at Games Workshop's own web store in the UK and the US, so even if I'm saying something is sold out, you might still be able to find copies on the shelves of a Warhammer store or an independent retailer, and of course, you should always check your own territories for stock levels. As it happens, the stock situation for Blackstone Fortress is exactly the same in the UK and the US. Both web fronts show six individual products, of which only two are currently available to purchase. The two items you can purchase are the Blackstone Fortress paperback novel and the Warhammer Quest Blackstone Fortress Cultists of the Abyss, which is the set of adversary characters from the Escalation expansion, which might be useful to pick up if you have the Abominable Intellect card pack because that card pack allowed you to spawn larger numbers of adversaries. It also might be useful if you manage to pick up a copy of Escalation without the miniatures because it's a complete set of the enemies and then all you have to worry about is getting the hero characters, which at the moment are only available in a board game called Combat Arena, which is only available in limited territories anyway. So that's a little bit more difficult. There are two products that are showing as sold out online, no longer available online. They are Ascension and the Blackstone Fortress Annual. So with Ascension being marked as sold out, that is the last of the Blackstone Fortress expansions gone. The final two products are both listed as temporarily out of stock. One of course is the Warhammer Quest Blackstone Fortress base game. Now I know that there are independent retailers that still have the base game, for example Element Games which is a store that I use all the time, they still have copies. And Blackstone Fortress is a really good game just as a base game experience. I think 
if you want a self-contained adventure and you don't mind that you can't get expansions, you don't mind that you are missing out on the continuation of the narrative, it's a really fun game. And of course, it is packed with really nice miniatures. I loved Blackstone Fortress long before they ever released an expansion for it. The expansions made it better, or at least most of them did. There were expansions that I had problems with. But overall, the main expansions, Escalation and Ascension, which continued the narrative of the game, added to the experience, but the core experience alone was excellent. And I suppose I should mention at this point, while we're talking about the core game and the expansions, it is always worth remembering that Escalation and Ascension are the big ones, and Escalation is the linchpin of the product line. Any expansion that came out after Escalation requires Escalation to play. The final product, which is listed as temporarily out of stock online, is the Lieber Xenologist hardback book. And this is an odd one. I was always under the impression that they marked things as temporarily out of stock online when they didn't have any stock for online sales, but there were still copies of the product in their Warhammer stores, which might at some point be taken back into the warehouse and become available for online sales. But of course, the Lieber Xenologist was only ever available to order online. I guess there's a possibility that some copies were ordered for collection from stores and then not collected, so maybe one or two copies will suddenly reappear one day on the store, but that's an odd one to me, I'm pretty sure that's gone too, as it's not a product that I see them reprinting either. But there we go, that's the roundup, that's it. As you can see, it's very slim pickings now. It does seem to be the case that there is just the last few copies of Blackstone Fortress floating around out there in the wild. If it is a game you would like to try, you might want to move to grab one if you know where you can get one. But as I mentioned before, just be aware that you're probably going to have to content yourself with just the contents of the base game. And I guess that's it. I think I have covered everything. If I have overlooked or forgotten anything, I will mention it in the video description below, but I guess that's it from me for now. Thank you so much for listening. If you've enjoyed the video, please consider pressing the like button. If you really enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing if you don't already do so. And hopefully, I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.